Welcome to your video. It's Kai. Um, this is a video to the unrequited lovers because <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. I wanted to check in with you guys. Um, I know I did a video in the past and it's still I think my highest viewed video too <laughs> about the one topic that I said I didn't want to keep talking about. Oh, the irony. Oh, the way the universe works. <laughs> but I wanted to check in with you guys because as someone who has learned a lot from that experience of having a jaksarang, which means an unrequited, unrequited crush or love in Korean. So I had a jaksarang on someone and it really made me think a lot, right? And if you see my past video, I might talk about a few things that I... Um, that have definitely changed now. So if you're interested, if you want to just chill here, let's chill here. Um, yeah, it's really late, so I'm trying to be quiet, but like at the same time, I want you guys to hear what I'm saying. Um, so I'll just kind of like do a little briefing on my experience because I only want to speak from my experience. I don't want to present these things that have been working for me as if they will be the only solution for people. That's not what this is. This is just my experience and I want you guys to take it as that. Um, but if you resonate with it, you resonate with it. So it was, I've realized that this was something that I was attached to for a very long time and it had to do with me repressing my emotions. So when I was younger, um, I had a very unhealthy uh, relationships with my relationships with my emotions and because of that I wasn't able to truly experience like positive emotions with um like taking action on positive emotions and not feeling like I needed to like take responsibility for it and stuff like that um I was actually gonna pull a few cards so excuse the shuffle So, just, I don't want to make this a super long video, but this is one of my favorite things to talk about because I love love. And I don't know who's out there who doesn't love love, but, or maybe they're just uncomfortable around love, which is okay. Don't worry, I feel you. Um, I was attached to this person, therefore this experience. So, by stifling that and repressing that, I felt myself kind of become so overstimulated when I was around this person and if you look at my last video I talk about how during this period of time I was very physically um, dysregulated like I just had a lot of trauma stored within my body because I just gotten out of a situation where I was I had been physically attacked right so I was so overstimulated. It was just so much information. But the greatest thing about this whole experience is that I still remain true to an intention that was pure, which was love, right? And love is unconditional and it has no attachments to anything. There is nothing that needs to necessarily be done in order for love to be experienced, to be expressed, right? And so I pretty much was acknowledging the fact that because of that state that I was in, I honestly feel like I wasn't able to truly process myself. So after the fact and this person pretty much rejected me, right? Like they just rejected me because <laughs> I confessed and, and that's just how I'm taking it at least, right? They never said it to my face, but I mean, no answer is still an answer. <laughs> But I pretty much from that, I had, I have both an avoidant and anxious attachment style. 
um, but because of my anxious attachment style, I pushed forward forth a conversation when we were already going to have one, right? Like I felt very anxious. That was just what I was going through. And so because of that, I was um, also feeling a lot of anxiety about how much time there would be to even have this conversation. And so I ended up confronting this person in a way that, yes, I did have to go through periods of um, embarrassment. And it's the saving grace. <laughs> the saving grace really is that pure intention of love, right? And so, you know, thereafter, months later, here I am now, and I've realized that because of that pure intention, it has allowed so much clarity that I had been lacking about myself and about how I actually love myself, how I'm actually here for myself. And that's just kind of where I'm at now is I realized like I was still doing this whole cycle. There are cycles that we go through in life and some people call them karmic cycles, some people just call them stuck in the matrix. I kind of resonate with all of those, but in the end, a cycle occurs because you're making the same choice. And I feel like I was kind of insane. And I think it was Albert Einstein that Einstein that said those who keep expecting a cycle to change from making the same choice are close to ins insanity or something. And that's definitely not the quote verbatim, but <laughs> I keep quoting Einstein and not getting it right, but whatever. <laughs> um, but I feel like that's kind of what I was going through. And I think it is important to, one, yes, not invalidate my emotions, but it, it is going to take space to see things in a more instead of um, empathic way, maybe more objective way, I think the word for it, hmm, can't find the word for it, <laughs> so I'm gonna take it up my talk, but it's been developing, it's been presenting all of these things, all of these insecurities within me, all of these like cyclical thoughts, um, the things that I have felt embarrassment over the things that I don't like about myself and it's so this is a message to those unrequited lovers because I understand <laughs> like I don't know what came over me honestly and I don't think I really will know like I don't think I'll truly I don't really think I need to know like, in a way where it has to be confirmed in the external realm, but it's, it's something that I've been processing, is that due to my deep emotion of love, <laughs> due to my depth, and because of this expression that really wants to come out, right? Like, it just wants to be expressed. And to have someone outside of me and feel like because they do not want to accept it, they don't want to reciprocate, they pretty much don't want to commit, right? Just because of that, it doesn't mean that I'm not capable of expressing or feeling or experiencing that love, right? That is their response. That is validly and respectfully so their response, right? So being able to actually fucking respect that and take a step back and not be so within the ego, that that is what brought me out of that and I feel so much better to the point where it's like I'm feeling kind of depressed and honestly I'm I will have to look into a therapist I feel like I think I'm just holding myself back because I haven't had the greatest experiences with therapist um but it's it's so important for me not to be so prideful because yes, I have a Leo rising, so I'm very confident in myself. I'm very confident. And in the past, it didn't make sense. I was like, how do you not like me? <laughs> and it's just that, that, that is important. It's important to stick by you, to stand by you, and to remain powerfully within your presence so that no matter what anyone else's chooses or how they respond or react to you, it doesn't, it doesn't affect you because you know that that's not your truth. 
but because it's their truth that's allowing a moment of discernment, of clarity on where they stand, where they stand, literally just where they stand. So it's like asking myself, where do I stand? And this is hand in hand with every connection that I'm in. It has nothing to do with romanticism or how platonic it is or whatever. The basis, the basis of this is, am I able to love purely? And real love comes from love of, that's within. And if I don't love myself enough, then no, I'm not, I do not have the capacity to share that. And I think the biggest thing about this is the lesson that I've learned. I'm not meant. I'm not built. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but it's truly the thing where it's like, There is nothing that needs to be forced, ever. Because when it's forced, it's not real. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, <laughs> and I don't mean this in a way where I'm trying to invalidate anyone's experience, right? But it's like, anything that's forced upon another person, anything that's forced upon yourself and your presence, there is a level of respect and there is a level of disrespect that's occurring. Sometimes it comes hand in hand. Because you, res you respect this other person so much that you feel like you actually can disrespect yourself. I don't know if that makes sense for anyone. But I've just been realizing how much I need to actually walk away from this experience in itself. And I feel like the most alchemic like experiences that I've had at least have been pertaining to love. And of course this pertains to my family and my romantic partners. Um, and also my platonic partners, my friendships that I've had and experienced pure love with, like, all of this is about love. And sometimes I feel like I have a difficulty in understanding that I don't just know all these things. I, there's so much unknown. And that anxiety, I'm transmutating it so that I understand that there's just unknown, there's unknown information that I have yet to access, achieve, tap into. And that is not something I'm going to withhold from myself. I'm not going to withhold this understanding of self so that when I'm in external, exterior, exterior, exterior environments and experiences, I don't need to do anything. I just need to be myself. So it's this level of surety with self and faith and faith comes with building trust and so i've been building trust in order to access that faith um keeping small promises to myself drinking water is one meditating is one doing a tarot read is one reading something is one like i i've just been doing the small things to actually build up this trust with myself because one yes i do acknowledge that i've betrayed myself a lot since childhood because I didn't even know boundaries existed. So it's like, this is all pretty, still new. <laughs> it's, it's still new. And as someone who's 24 and saying this, I don't believe that my age determines, you know, like, it's just age, time, you know, fuck. Like, it's just, I don't, I don't truly resonate with that. 24 years is just a number. It's just the amount of time. No, it's just the amount of physicality, presence that I've had on this earth. And this information that I'm getting, I feel like, yes, I want to be able to teach my children, if I do ever have any, but teach my children that they have every choice in every moment to change their whole perspective, their whole experience. And they can redirect their intentionality with their emotions. And because of that, that can be channeled straight into you. And honest to God, it just makes me so, like, I laugh. Oyopso. Like, I don't know what that is in English, to be honest. Like, it, there honestly is nothing in English that really aligns with that phrase in Korean. But it's like... 
I'm appalled. I'm appalled by the amount of love that I truly have by, from myself and that I, I lose sense of that. I totally forget about it. I totally forget that I actually like myself. I actually love myself. But it comes with facing the parts of myself that I don't like. <laughs> because of those parts, I've recognized that hand in hand, I need both parts. I actually need both parts. If I just had the parts that I liked, I'd be so egotistical, prideful, maybe even controlling. Honestly, reminds me a little bit of my past, but um, my past self. But even then, the potentiality that I've built from just accessing that information that I actually, I actually like myself. I want to like myself. I want to learn to like myself. I want to, like, you know, just expand the phrase, expand the phrase to whatever resonates with you. But that decision has consistently cleared out my whole space. I also highly recommend putting plants. I have flowers right here. I actually arranged myself. Oh, sorry. There's lights on it. So it might be kind of hard to see. But yeah, I, I arranged it myself. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? But yeah, I... I've just been doing these small things, you know? Like today, I'm pretty sure today was fucking Valentine's Day or some shit. And I was like, bro, that's crazy. I'm gonna buy myself some flowers, you know? And it's like, I've been staring at this beautiful bastard over here. And I'm just like, I, I am so lucky. I am so lucky and privileged. And I really don't feel like... <laughs> Like, to be honest, with what's happening in the world right now, with, honestly, all the fucking death, like, just all this fucking killing and shit, and it's just like, I'm alive! Why wouldn't I tap into my highest potential when I'm still alive? There's so many people who have passed, and I've talked about this in my past videos recently, where, yeah, I would... You know, I really, I really shouldn't say, honestly, I really shouldn't say that anymore because there is no exchange for another's life and to think like that is honestly really self-deprecating too. <laughs> and I know that, and I know that when I was at a, when I was at a down low time, I thought that. And so that's why it's like with those moments and then coming out of those moments and moving through those moments, it's expanded this awareness that yes sometimes i do feel less than but it's important for me to actually acknowledge those moments so that i can be with my emotions so that i can feel them and therefore release them because if i don't and i repress them then i will never be able to heal it i will never be able to heal it and to heal it is to honestly just fucking acknowledge it and welcome it into your space that's what healing is there's so much of me that i have stifled from childhood in the most integral times of my fucking life like five to seven years old like even just when you're born to literally like nine years old okay even tweens just preteens it's uh, i've just been learning because i've been taking like training courses for my new job and it's i work with kids so i have to like learn about these things and like developmental stages and it just blows my mind because i'm like damn this is why I feel so much responsibility when it comes to children because I honestly, I really can't live with myself <laughs> if I, like, I don't know. No, I, w I won't say it. I won't say it. Because it's not true. I would, I would do the best that I could and I know that I will if I ever have children of my own one day. But thank you for being here. I'm going to end the reading here. Trust your judgment. Trust your judgment. Trust your intuition. I'm fucking not kidding here. Trust your fucking intuition. I swear to God, there have been times where even when I get confirmed information, when I'm like, oh, that's kind of, I'm picking up on something there. And then it literally confirms. And I honestly don't even re respond or react to it. Like I just, I'm like, you know, okay this is not news to me but at the same time it's like why did i do anything before? 
And yes, there are lessons to learn sometimes, right? There are lessons that we can learn. And taking a step out of that karmic cycle will definitely be the best for you. So take it at your own process, your own progress. Pat yourself on the back because you got here to this point in my video. So honestly, I'm pretty sure you got this, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got this in the bag. You're already here. You already know that you deserve this love so much more than, than putting it externally. Like, you actually need this love more than you think. <laughs> And I mean this in the best way fucking possible, in the most empowering, the most expressive, expansive, like, freedom, inspiring, like, choice. And I promise you, you will not regret it. Once you start developing, like, your own practices with yourself, just, just experiment. I've been doing random ass stuff that I would do as a child, like, random ass things, like, literally doing my makeup just for fun that reminds me of a part of my life that i honestly haven't accessed in a while like these small little things just writing a poem randomly you know going out going to a cafe just sitting there and doing random stuff reading taking a step outside and just sitting there and just breathing in the air and looking at the beautiful clouds in the sky i did that today talking having conversation Especially in those moments where I've been feeling triggered. Oh man, so much progress. That anger, that frustration is right here. And I really don't want to dishonor myself anymore. I don't want to disrespect myself. I don't want to break my own trust, you know? I just didn't have that kind of practice as a child where I could acknowledge that this was something that was needed I don't know I guess this is growing up isn't it but yeah I'm feeling a lot better I hope you guys are feeling good too just good enough good enough to say hi hi <laughs> and yeah it's still a work in progress, so I'll update you guys. But feeling a lot better. I think that's just it. It's not even like I feel I feel good, but I'm just really trying to live that crescendo in life. And the biggest thing is for me at least moving forward, I I wish to stop thinking so much about the past. Um, in a way where my attention is solely based on the past and therefore my presence is based on the past. I want to build experiences on the expanse, expansive experience of myself, to expand my awareness, to, to tap into different parts of me. And it takes courage sometimes. It takes courage and loyalty and um, grit. <laughs> sometimes it takes determination and... Honestly, cheers to everyone on their own spiritual journey. I wish you the best, man. If you guys want a personal reading, you can go ahead and email me at psychikai, P-S-Y-C-H-I-K-Y, at gmail. Um, other than that, thank you for being here. Today was Valentine's Day. There's a new moon on Friday in Aquarius. This Aquarian energy is about to go fucking off, bro. It's already going off, but I already see it. I already see this happening. It's so great to see people be in their unique, weird ways. It's so great. But, yeah. Um, I truly am sending support and love, okay? So stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video.